Hey y'all, it's Victoria from Super Geeked. I got one of them fancy thread up boxes. You know, the ones where you pay like a fee and then they send you a box of mystery. It's like a big surprise. You don't know, am I gonna get some crap in here or am I gonna get some good stuff? Stick around because I got me one of them shoe boxes. I paid $90 for 15 pairs of shoes and they could be total crap. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Hey, y'all. It's Victoria. Thank you guys so much for coming back to our channel. Hey, y'all. If you're new to my channel, you know I don't talk like that. Actually, if you want to hear a good Mississippi accent, you have to go about an hour north of here. And that's when them accents start coming out. <laughs> also, if you don't already know, we're super geeked. We celebrate all the things we get super geeked about. And I am a full-time reseller. I sell all kinds of stuff on apps like eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, and Mercari. And I like to open mystery boxes, but I haven't got one in a long time. So ThreadUp had some shoe boxes available. And if you don't know what ThreadUp is, ThreadUp's the largest online consignment store where you can send in your stuff from your closet you don't want anymore. They photograph it and they sell it for you and you get a cut of whatever they sell it for. But sometimes items don't sell or they get rejected because they have too much damage to be sold on the website. And then they sell these mystery boxes so you can either get really cool things or some things that are just going to get redonated. You just don't know. It's a gamble, but it's fun to open these and I haven't got one in a long time. So the shoe boxes came available. There are 15 pairs of shoes for $90. And I actually had enough credits to cover the majority of the box. I think I paid like $3.95 or something for the box. So that was cool. So not a lot out of my pocket. The credits were from earnings that I had, from items that I had sold on ThreadUp. So I was saving them up to buy a box. So here we are. This is my giant box, but I do have to say, it was kind of uh, beat up a little bit, so I'm not sure if the post office retaped it or if ThreadUp just taped it this crappy, but we are going to get on into this box. My invoice was just sitting on top of one of the flaps of the box, so good thing that didn't fall out. They did put some tissue paper on top, and I've had really good success with these boxes before, so I'm hoping this one ain't a dud, because I'm going to cry a little bit, y'all. Also, for those of you keeping track, my box did come from Phoenix. To be honest with you, the only thread up boxes I've ever bought were the DIY designer and the shoe box. And I've only gotten one shoe box. So that box was great. Fingers crossed this one is going to be just as good as that one. All right, first pair here on top are a pair of Converse. They're, they look really clean and they're in a cute um, pattern. The styles and patterns um, of Converse sell differently. I usually sell Converse for around $30, um, sometimes $25, but mostly $30. So that's probably what I would expect to get for these. Okay, and then I have a pair of Vans. I love Vans. We are big time Vans family. My husband wears Vans. I wear Vans. My kids wear Vans. All my tennis shoes, unless they're my workout shoes, are Vans. So um, I would have loved these shoes if they had been in my size, but they're nine and a half. Again, they're decently clean. Vans don't sell as well as Converse unless it's some specialty Vans or like the custom made Vans. So I'm not really sure how those are going to do. Okay, these are probably going to get redonated. These are just the brand Bamboo. They are cheap and yeah, that's crap. Yucky. Something else I wanted to say about this box that sort of concerns me. I ordered the box and it shipped within like a day or two, which I haven't gotten a box in a while, but it used to be where when you got a thread up box, it sometimes could take two weeks to ship. So that kind of concerns me that they just threw a bunch of crap in these boxes. <laughs> but uh, these are some little booties. They have a very interesting heel on them, sort of like a faux crocodile. And they're Antonio Milani. I've sold some Antonio Milani, but I don't source Antonio Milani, so I'm not very excited about these either, but I'm, I may list them. Okay, I don't ever sell this brand. I don't ever sell this brand or pick it up. It's just fab, and they are these uh, faux suede block-heeled little sandals, 
and they have this tie. I mean, I like this dusty rose color. I mean, the style of them are cute, but they're just really cheap shoes, so I don't usually ever source them, um, but I may list them. Y'all, I don't think this box is going to be very good. Kind of bummed. <laughs> this would be the first terrible box I've gotten from ThreadUp, but anyway, they're a pair of Michael Kors heels. They have the Michael Kors logo on them. I don't really pick up Michael Kors either. So, and these are the Michael Michael Kors, which are the cheaper line. Um, they are patent leather, so at least they're leather. That's good. So, yeah, not too excited about those either. Okay, these shoes look very vintage inspired, almost like something that would have been sold on Mod Cloth. They have this cute bow. And it says, it says, these shoes were made for dancing. The brand, I don't know if you can see it, but it says it up here. It's called Blue Herring. And they have a sticker on the bottom that says Debenhams Retail PLC 1 Welbreck Street, London. So not sure what not sure what Debenhams is. They feel like some sort of suede, but I don't see where it says for sure that they are. So I'll have to look these up. Um, they are cute, so I'll probably list them. They do, these have one little spot on them right here, sort of like a rubbing, but I'll try to clean them up and they definitely would fit in with the aesthetic of my closet. So, wow, these are super crappy. <laughs> these are some just, uh, yeah, they feel like crappy paper. Look at that sweet piece of elastic there, people. That is quality. It doesn't even have a brand. They look like they're probably from the dollar store. Yeah, that's a, <clears throat> this box is just getting better and better. <laughs> so these are a pair of Toms. Uh, they're glittery. I don't sell Toms either. I knew that people like Toms. Uh, these bottoms have seen a little bit of better days. I mean, they're not in bad condition, so I'll list them. Um, but I don't really sell Toms. More paper. All right, next up we have Jessica Simpson. Again, shoes I don't sell or pick up. They're cute little sandals. I mean, they have metal on them. And I know Jessica Simpson will sell probably for 10 or 15, so I may list them. I don't know. I'm not too excited about them. All right, guys. Well, this is the shit box I've ever gotten from ThreadUp. Next up are these ABOs. They are like comfort sandals. I don't know anything about this brand. They look very much like the other brands of comfort shoes, so I'll definitely look them up. But I don't really pick up too many comfort shoes either, but um, I may list them to at least try to recoup my money. Oh, God. This is just getting worse and worse. <laughs> so these are um, some just heels from Life Strides. Again, a brand I would never pick up at the thrift store. And they look delicious. So... <laughs> I'm not even going to bother cleaning these dudes. Y'all. <laughs> okay, these shoes uh, may be redeemable. They're naturalizer, which, again, I don't pick up, but they're in a pretty dusty rose. It does have a spot, but I can clean that with a block heel. And they're a size 12. So I have a giant foot, size 11. These are 12, so these are bigger than my feet. And... Uh, a lot of shoe brands don't go up to size 12, so I will definitely list these. I think they'll sell. Okay, these are some sandals. They are by Boutique by Corky's. Corky's is a good brand that people search for, and these are cute shoes, so I will list these again to try to make my money back. <laughs> and last up are a pair of Red Converse. So essentially I made this video so that you could laugh at me and see how crappy some of the thread up boxes can be. So be warned, you never know what you're going to get. You could get a total crap fest like me. All right, y'all, that's all I've got for you. I'm going to pick out a few and hopefully I'll make my money back. The rest of them, I probably won't even bother to try to list. I'll just donate them. And yeah. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget, if you haven't already, do all those, you know, YouTube-y things while I sit here and woo. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that bell notification so you know when we put out new content. Be sure to like this video on your way out. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thread up, how are you going to do me like this? You can't win them all.
Bye, y'all.